electric car. I was going to give a quick demo today. Um, you can see here we have our X forklift uh, traction motor here which has been coupled up to the gearbox and uh, it's all back in the car now uh, the next job that I have to do is to uh, have to replace one of these engine mountings here as you can see it got um, it got uh, damaged when I was taking out the engine so I have to change out the two of those um, these are, are extremely expensive parts so what I've decided to do is to put in uh, and over engine mountings uh, in place of them because there isn't going to be as much vib vibration uh, at this electric drive than there would be from the normal engine. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, demo here. Uh, we have the motor hooked up uh, in series. You can see here we have a jumper cable going across to series field uh, to armature terminals here. And we have just a 12 volt um, booster pack here to supply power. The car is currently in second gear and I've just put a spanner onto this terminal here just so that it doesn't spark the brass here because I don't want to cause any damage to that. So I'll go ahead and power this up and uh, the car is currently up on uh, blocks here as you can see so with a bit of good fortune uh, we should hear that we should see uh, the back wheel spinning uh, which would be those ones. So I'll go ahead and uh, put some power to this baby and we'll see what happens. And the motor is spinning. And our back wheels are turning. As you can see, we're in second gear at the minute. You can hear how quiet this is. There's no bad sounds coming out of the... Uh, gear, uh, gearbox or drivetrain. You can see she's spinning away happily there. So I'll turn off. Just uh, put the gear shift into reverse and we'll go again. And hopefully, wheels should be turning backwards, which they are, and slower at that. So that proves that's happy. Again, we're not getting any bad sounds out of the drivetrain. Finally, we'll go for third gear. See, our wheels are spinning a lot faster now. And uh, there should be a limited slip there potential in this car so we should see the two wheels turning which we are and thankfully there's no uh, sounds coming out of the brake drums so at least the brakes haven't seized on and see we're spinning away happily I don't know if it would be possible to see the inside of the uh, couple are probably not at this angle so that's about it spinning away happily